Air Brigade? Where's the 5th Contingent? What the hell are they doing? If they're not here yet, then... No! There's no way they've been wiped out! No way! Hello Corrosion Fighters, it's Silent Signs from I Dream of Indy, and today we are taking a look at Edge of Eternity. This is a quick preview based on the first hour or so of gameplay, and let me tell you, there's a lot going on as soon as the game opens up. The world of Harrion is at war and actually has been for quite some time. The only thing that could make things worse than these alien ambushes is a highly contagious and deadly disease, the corrosion. Yes, corrosion. Hit a little too close to home for a second there, so moving right along. Back into fantasy we go. You play as a soldier named Darien, and you do get an animal companion very early on in the game that I was a huge fan of. Let me just say it is feline-esque, and it has two tails, and it purrs, and I was in love. Combat is turn-based and does have a bit of an element of strategy to it. You can move members of your party around on a grid and perform kind of your standard attacks, magic, healing, etc. All the while keeping an eye on your character's HP, MP, and ATB. As you would expect, you do have a leveling system for both your characters as well as their weapons. As with any JRPG, it's going to be difficult to kind of summarize it with just an hour of gameplay because it is quite deep. There's a crafting system. You can purchase items using the world's currency. You, of course, will get side quests as well as main missions. And there's just so much going on that I was honestly impressed with the span of this game, especially considering the fact that it came from such a small team. Things aren't quite perfect, but I do have some high hopes for this game. I'm a huge fan of JRPGs, and this one definitely reminded me of games like Final Fantasy VII. Not saying it's exactly like it, but I can definitely draw some parallels. I actually found the graphics to be quite impressive. I know they're, again, not perfect, but the environments were gorgeous. I thought there was a good variety to the flora and fauna that you come across. I thought the character models were also really nice, a little bit stiff in their movements, but as a whole, I was pretty impressed by how this game appears. I'd say the biggest issue I had right now was the camera, and it might just be a matter of adjusting to how this game plays but particularly in the battles, I found it to be a little bit challenging and almost working against me. I'm also really digging what I've heard so far of the soundtrack. I definitely string heavy and symphonic, but quite beautiful. Definitely right in the realm of what you would expect of the JRPG genre. Anytime anyone attempts to create a new universe in the JRPG realm, I am always in support of it. I am rooting for Edge of Eternity. Enjoy this, nor will you. Thank you so much for checking out our preview of Edge of Eternity. Before I go, I just want to thank our indie warriors Mitchell Hall, Cavalo, Bunny, Bill Tikas, Christian Cruz, Strict Nine, Rosie Syntax, Chris Jackson, Nathan Moore, Peach, Adriana Amato, CJR, Jesse, Falco Lombardi, C Coil, and Skepticism. Thank you all so much for your support and Thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time.